Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the interpeduncular fossa. The interpeduncular fossa is a hexagonal structure found in the base of the brain. So it has six sides. This is one, the optic chiasm here. Then we have the optic tract. And this is the cross cerebri of midbrain. This is the superior border of the pons. And this is the, again the cross cerebri of the midbrain. There is the optic tract. So this structure is called interpeduncular fossa. This is present at the base of the brain. It is related to the midbrain and the hypothalamus. So what are the boundaries of this interpeduncular fossa? Boundaries anteriorly by the optic chiasm. We know that optic chiasm, the nasal fiber of the optic nerve crosses. The temporal fiber does not cross. They go to the same side. In the chiasm, the nasal fiber crosses. Okay, so that is that. Posteriorly, upper border of the pons, this is the pons, and pons is a part of the brain stem. Brain stem has midbrain, pons, and middle oblongata. So upper border forms the posterior boundary of the interpeduncular fossa. Anterolaterally optic tract. This is the optic tract here. Okay, optic tract. Optic tract contain fibers. These are the cross fiber from the other side. Okay, and also same side, the temporal fiber. The nasal fiber from the other side. Like this, the nasal fiber from the other side and the temporal fiber of the same side forms the optic tract in the visual pathway. Then anterolaterally, we got the optic tract. Then we'll go posterolaterally, the cross cerebri. These are the cross cerebri. This is one. Another one is this that forms the, these are the part of midbrain that forms the posterolateral boundary of the interpeduncular fossa. Now we have at a time we look at the at the content. Content here we are looking at the tuber scenarium, the infundibulum here, okay, then the mammillary body, and here is the posterior perforated substance and the oculomotor nerve. Here, this is the basilar sulcus contains the basilar artery, it forms posterior cerebral artery, and there is also we have the circle of Willis. They have perforating branches. They go inside the brain substance. Ultimately, they supply the ganglia, the basal ganglia. So this part is perforated by the blood vessels from the circle of Willis that forms the posterior perforated substance. Here, we have also anterior perforated substance in this place. That is not a part of interpeduncular fossa, but posterior perforated substance is a, is a part of the, is a content of the interpeduncular fossa. Okay, so if you go to the interpeduncular fossa, let us again orient with that of the base of the brain. This is the base of the brain. This is our interpeduncular fossa area. This is the forebrain, the orbital surface. This is the olfactory bulb, olfactory tract. This is the olfactory stira, lateral stira, underneath the optic nerve, the medial stira, and this is the anterior perforated substance. But we are now learning this part. Here is the circle of Willis. It surrounds the structures of the interpeduncular fossa. Interpeduncular fossa contains the tuber scenarium, infundibulum, the, the mammillary bodies, and the perforated, posterior perforated substance, but the perforating artery though, that goes inside the brain, and also they supply the basal ganglia, so they make perforation like these arteries. Okay, this is the basilar artery on the basilar fossa of the pons. Okay, so again, the contents of the interpeduncular fossa, if we go there to the content, we'll find out the infundibulum here, the tuber scenarium, the mammillary bodies, 
the posterior perforated substance and the oculomotor nerve. Remember, oculomotor nerve is a content of the interpedicular fossa, but not the trochlear nerve or fourth nerve. Fourth nerve is coming from the posterior aspect of the midbrain. That is not a content of the interpedicular fossa. Interpedicular fossa contains the, the oculomotor nerve. Okay, we got that. So we have some clinical notes. Any region of the basilar bifurcation may impinge on exiting root of the oculomotor nerve in the interpedangular fossa. If you go to the course of oculomotor nerve, it comes out of the midbrain, passing through and around the red nucleus. Okay, it passes between the posterior cerebral artery and the superior cerebellar artery. It enters the cistern, the subacnar system, the interpedangular system. Then it passes through that and it pierces the dura mater. It passes through the lateral wall of the, the cavernous sinus and it exits through the superior orbital fissure. Okay, so it passes in its passes. If there is any aneurysm, aneurysm means abnormal dilatation of the blood vessel. And we know that very aneurysm is very common in the in the interpedicular fossa area of the of the circle of Willis. Okay, circle of Willis is around the interpedicular fossa area. Okay, so it may compress the oculomotor nerve and the structure innervated with the oculomotor nerve, like the extraocular muscle, interocular muscle, may not get the nerve supply. Okay, mammillary bodies are part of the hypothalamus, they are two in number, they contain nucleus, collection of neuron that is also connected to the, to the hippocampus, and this may be degenerated in a person who is chronic alcoholic, and in a syndrome, we call it korsakoff barnecki syndrome. People may not have the memory and they may, may fabricate the stories, okay? That is the korsakoff barnecki korsakoff syndrome. Okay, so we'll go to the viva question. The boundaries of the interpedicular fossa contains cross cerebri. This is the part of the midbrain. Cerebral peduncle. This is composed of the cross cerebri, substantia nigra, and the tegmentum. Okay, infundibulum is the connection of the hypothalamus to the uh, to the pituitary gland through the Tuber cinerum. Tuber cinerum is the part which is the which is the part of the hypothalamus that is composed of gray matter extending from the infundibulum to the mammillary body area. Okay, so we got the infundibulum. Here, infundibulum is a connection, the pituitary stalk. Okay, and it is related to the hypothalamus as well as it is it is related to the tuber cinerum. What is the clinical significance of memory bodies in alcoholic? It may be degenerated and person may develop loss of memory. Which nerve comes out between the two cross cerebri? That is the oculomotor nerve. What is the course of oculomotor nerve? We discussed it. What muscles are innervated by the oculomotor nerve? We have many muscles, extraocular muscle, intraocular muscle, intraocular muscle, like that of the sphincter pupillae, ciliary muscles, extraocular muscle, like that of the medial rectus muscle. Okay, we have the inferior rectus muscle. Okay, uh, we have the we have other extracellular muscles like the levator palpebrae superioris muscle. Okay, so multiple muscles are innervated by the extracellular nerve. All the muscles, extracellular muscles, are innervated by the oculomotor nerve except the superior oblique and lateral rectus. So inferior oblique by the oculomotor nerve, medial rectus by oculomotor nerve, inferior rectus by oculomotor nerve, okay? It also supplies the levator pulpy very superior this muscle. Okay, these are my references. And that's all about the anatomy of the interparenchular fossa. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me.
please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now